Okay, so first of all, I have three text files here that I want to combine together. And the first method involves using Microsoft Word. So I'll start by copying the folder path and then opening up Microsoft Word and going to insert and then text and then object, then clicking on the downwards pointing arrow and then selecting text from file. Then I will paste in the folder path here and press enter. At the moment, it looks like there are no files in this folder, but I need to go down here and change it to all files. And then we get our three text files here. I'll click and drag to select all of these and then click insert. And we get the three text files combined together. I'll then press Control A, which is the keyboard shortcut for select all and then Control c to copy and then go to Microsoft Excel and Control v to paste. Now this brings it in with some odd formatting so we can also right click and paste as match destination formatting. Now at the moment the headings are being repeated so we'll add in the filter buttons and then filter out the word date and OK in order to remove the extra headings. Then we will copy all of this and paste it into a new sheet in order to get the data without the extra headings. The second method involves using Power Query. So we will go to the data tab and then get data from file and from folder. Microsoft has changed the way the data tab looks quite a lot over the last few years. So your version may look different to mine, but the from folder option should still be there somewhere. So select from folder. Then I will copy the folder path again and paste it in here and press enter and then select open. Now it's found the three text files and there's a few different options for this but I will select combine and load. And it will use the first text file as an example and assume all of the other files are laid out in a similar way. And then select OK. And now we have the three text files combined together here in a table. And it's smart enough to ignore the extra headings. We do have an extra column here which has the text file name in it. In order to remove this, we'll go to Query and then Edit. And this opens up the Power Query Editor. We can then remove the Source Name column and make any other changes that we want and then go Close and Load. And now we have the table with just two columns in it. Now the third method involves using Windows Command Prompt. So go to the formula bar and type CMD, which stands for Command, and then Enter. And this opens up the Windows Command Prompt. Then type copy space the asterisk symbol dot txt. And the asterisk symbol is a wildcard symbol and it can represent anything. So what this is saying at the moment is to copy all of the text files in this folder. And then we'll do a space and we need to tell it where we want it to copy this information to. And so we will create a new text file and call it results and then .txt so it knows that it is a text file. And so this will copy all of the information from the text files into a file called results. 
At the moment, there is a problem with this. Because the asterisk symbol can represent anything, it also includes the results file. So we'll try and copy the results file into itself. There are a couple of different ways that we can fix this. We can change the name of the text files. So now it will only copy the text files that start with 20. Or we can put the results file in a different folder. So I will make a new folder and call it folder. Then go back to the Windows command prompt and I'll do dot backslash folder backslash. And the dot here represents the current folder. So we don't have to put in the whole of the folder path. And then press enter. And now it has copied these text files. So I'll go to this folder and we have a new text file here called results. And when I open it, we can see that all of the text files have been combined together in this file. Now the fourth method involves using PowerShell. So I'll hold down shift and right click and select open PowerShell window here. And this will open up the Windows PowerShell. Then I'll type get dash content space the asterisk symbol dot txt. And this will get all of the content from all of the text files in this folder. Then we'll do space and the pipe symbol. And the pipe symbol will be in different places depending on what type of keyboard you have. So you will need to find it on your keyboard or you can copy and paste it from the description of this video. And the pipe symbol will take whatever is on the left hand side of it and then pipe it into whatever is on the right hand side. And on the right hand side, I'm going to put a space and then set dash content space and then results.txt. And so now it is setting the content of the results text file to be the content of the text files. But we have the same problem that we did before. Because the asterisk symbol can represent anything, it includes the results file. So it will try and combine it with itself. So we will again put the results file in a different folder. And I'll do dot backslash folder backslash. And I'll also change the name of this to be results2 so we don't override the text file that we previously made. And then enter. And now I'll go to this folder here and we have a second results file. And when I open this, we can see that we have the information from the text files combined together. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to combine text files together in Windows using four different methods, and that is everything.